This question is often asked, and it's a concern that these days that uh, uh, if the Republicans get control of the Congress, the Foreign Service will find its, its budget sharply reduced. Uh, and yeah, uh, that fear comes from a perception that uh, as a former Secretary of State uh, Al Haig said the, uh, uh, the Foreign Service is, is uh, not a uh, Republican institution. It wasn't always the case, but these days the Republican Party, uh, more than the Democratic Party, represents, uh, oddly enough, both the, the idealistic and the internationalist strains in American uh, foreign policy, American thinking. Uh, by idealist, I mean that the Republicans, probably more than the Democrats, favor the idea that U.S. foreign policy should promote American political and moral values, even at the expense, or at least the short-term expense, of American interests. Uh, by a unilateralist, I mean an isolationist, I mean that uh, Republicans, more than the Democrats, are willing to see the United States pursue policies that other nations do not support, or to withdraw from engagement in foreign affairs. Foreign service officers are internationalists. They do not tend to see international uh, issues in moral terms. They tend to see them in political and strategic terms. Uh, they do not want to withdraw. They want to engage whenever possible, and this will put the Foreign Service at odds with the idealistic and isolationist strains in American thought, which, as I say, are at this period uh, in American history are represented more in the Republican than in the Democratic Party. So those tensions are real. I don't think it's going to affect the budget, not, 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 to, uh, not a nickel's worth, uh, but the tension is, is certainly there.